bathing is based on the Japanese concept of Shinrin Yoku, which literally means bathing in the forest atmosphere, going into nature as a way to heal. So it's not about getting anywhere, it's about arriving, it's about soaking in the surroundings. I just remember walking around New York City just really down, feeling like there was this desire for nature, this all-encompassing itch that I couldn't scratch. Just had a feeling that there had to be more to life than that. So I put up with something called the Forest Bathing Club on meetup.com just to see what would happen, and people started to join it. They started to lead groups. And I was like, hey, okay, now I really want to dive in deep. What is this practice and where does it come from? I spent time with the Maori in New Zealand, with Shigendo Buddhist monks in Japan, with Mayan elders in Guatemala. I did a training with the Association of Nature and Forest Therapy down in Costa Rica. And really the trees are always teaching me. Forest bathing is about awakening your senses, waking up to the present moment, and soaking in the surroundings. It's not a hike, it's not a walk with a naturalist. It's more of a mindfulness practice with a lot of scientific research. It's an evidence-based practice of going to nature to lower your stress, boost your immunity, your creativity, and your sense of awe. So often when we go out in nature, we're either with friends and we're not actually taking the time to, to connect, or we're trying to get to the top of a mountain, trying to burn all these calories, we're trying to get somewhere, we're always trying to go somewhere. My hope for people is that they are able to begin their journey of reconnection to nature. And I believe that when you go out to nature, you discover your own true nature, and it helps you to then be able to live your life.